Hi, welcome back to another Christmas special. I'm so excited about Christmas and this wonderful Christmas setting we're in. Now, very quickly, we're going to be making these paper snowflakes or stars as some people refer them to. Really easy to make. What you will need is three sheets of A4 paper. Now, you can make them out of origami paper too, which is really good. Um, I can just send some links to these in my description below. But normal printer paper, brilliant. So first things first, you're going to need three of these. You're going to fold it in half like this. Hold it. Then you're going to cut it in half. And out of each sheet of paper, you get two points of your star. And it is worth cutting and folding as neatly as you can. But, you know, as always, you can get away with not being too neat. Now I'm going to fold one corner over this line, line it up here, like so, to make a neat triangle. And then when you've done, um, I, I'm, I'm really lazy to like cutting paper all at once. So I line up all my six sheets like this, stack them like that. And then I cut across all six, but that's because I'm comfortable doing this. If you're not so you know, confident in your cutting skills, it's worth doing one at a time. But I'm a bit lazy and I've got lots of practice. So you can do six sheets like this in one go. So move that to the side. I'm gonna move these to the side as well. So then distract us. So then you've got your, um, triangle and you take one corner over and fold it like this again to try and line them up as neatly as possible like that a nice crease I'm going to do the same with this one so fold that over this is where if you use origami paper you've got the precise measurements ready and then this one over here the point is though if you've got different size paper it doesn't matter as long as it's square you can use any paper and you can make them really big so you could use six sheets of A4 paper and do big square, um, squares, or you can use these ones. Now you've got these. Here's the closed side, here's the open side. So I'm gonna take my ruler, and from the edge, I'm gonna measure one centimeter. That's one centimeter. And here, again. So I've done two dots to help me connect the line. Like so. Now, so when you open it like this, so this is the total open side. I'm going to do two centimeters and two again and two again. So two, four, six. Turn my ruler down. Again, it's opening this way. And again, you go two, four, six. And now connect them. This line that I've just drawn actually is parallel to this one. Connect, connect. Now, you can either do these lines on all six points, or I do two at the time this time, not six, but if you do two at the time carefully, you should be able to double up on your workload a bit. So I do two lots at once by carefully placing them top of each other. Now I'm gonna cut all the way to that line. Hold it securely. You don't want it to move when you're doing two at once. I wouldn't do more than two though, because your, your papers will get out of line. There we go. Good, now you can rub this out. To be honest, you can leave it if you want. I don't think anyone's gonna see it, but if you want to, you can rub it out. So, now you should have six of these. The reason why I'm saying you should, I've made some earlier. I'll show them to you in a minute. But the next thing you need to do is open it up and you've got something that looks like this, sort of squares within squares. You take your trusted um, glue stick and take the, that one corner here, add a little bit of glue, take the other corner, roll it toward each other and stick. Now you flip it over, like so, you put glue here, and again you roll them towards each other, like so, and just hold them for a second, and turn, like that, and again, glue on this side, roll them towards each other, it's quite sort of therapeutic when you get going, and then again, and do the last one. 
I repeat that six times. So you need six of these, so I've done one. So there you go, six. So one, two, three. I've got another three over here, but what you do next is you take three of them. So can you see there's a gap, there's a fill bit, there's a gap, there's a fill bit. You want them all facing the same way. So you don't want one going like that and one, you want them all facing the same way. Bit of glue. Like so. Again, just line up your points. Bit of glue. Like so. Line up your points so it's a nice, nice, nice edge. Now I'm going to do the next three. Line them all in the same direction. Turn it round. Glue. Glue. Like so. So now comes the magical bit. So now you want to connect these two. This is where you need a stapler. So you hold them together. Line them up as best you can. Like so. And then, don't worry, they overlap a bit. Wiggle in your stapler and staple together. So you've got your basic shape. Very last thing you need to do. Some people do this with a stapler. I like to glue it. You again take the glues. There's a corner where they meet. And you now, this is just to give it shape and structure. You connect each star point or snowflake point with the next one. Like so. Or you can staple it too if you prefer. The thing is my stapler is quite big and clunky so I don't, I don't like using it so much but if you've got like a smaller one with slightly smaller staples that works really well. Like so. And then we're almost done. Hold it together. Remember, this is part of the Christmas series. We've got loads more videos and ideas to show you. So do check out the other videos. Subscribe to all our channels. And have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs>